Neil, a, a defeat out there this afternoon, and did we give ourselves a bit too much after that first half? Yeah. Um... I thought we played a bit suicide football in the first half. I want to play football and pass, and when we passed and moved and broke lines and got beyond them, we looked really, really good. We got in some great areas, but I'll always say football's won and lost in both boxes. Between the boxes, you know, we, we were the more fluent team, but in the boxes, they were the better team. And, you know, the first goal was a mistake, kamikaze football, and the second goal was criminal from our, our point of view. We, we had it in their corner, and they clear a ball, we nod it down, they volley a ball in behind and guy runs between two of us and goes in and scores in the 47th minute and that gives you a mountain to climb because up until then the mistake and that moment the rest of it wasn't a million miles away but we had we had our warnings we had a couple of risky moments where they, sh they could have scored um, and we've had some great chances today and we haven't taken them um, it's just football yeah you could see that happened a couple of times where we almost got caught out in possession was it a case of maybe communicating that between the players a bit better um, <sighs> My worry before the game, with 10 days without a game, was that we didn't we needed to turn up mentally tuned in today and willing to do our jobs. And when we kept 12 clean sheets in 15, we saw our jobs through. We tracked runners, you know, after the Chesterville game, I alluded to it. And today we didn't. Every time they took a goal kick, the centre forward won the first header. And the other centre forward ran in behind and got him. We can't, can't have our centre midfielders challenging Fredders and our two centre halves not. And then not tracking the runner that runs in behind us and that happened all too often the warning signs were there and it happened for their second goal so poor from us it was uh, you know a bad day at the office in our defending today 80% of the football was good um, and we've created some great chances Dallow's you know unfortunately he's missed but you know we, we expect him to hit the target there we was hoping he'd hit the target and we've had two or three other great ones one cleared off the line from, from Barney um, so yeah we're disappointed Was that the pleasing aspect though you mentioned yesterday about being clinical it wasn't as clinical today but we, we created chances and if that one did go in from Dada then it really does make for an interesting final 20 and it did so with the goal as well yeah um yeah, we, 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 I've said to you we need to score more goals we need to create better chances and we're working on that um, but sometimes you work on that and you, you, you pour down the other end you know the bedrock of every good team has to be defensively sound and we wasn't today we was all over the shop defensively at times um, can't tell you why because that's the same back four that's kept loads of clean sheets in the past so I can't tell you why um, but you know, we gave ourselves too much to do today and, uh, you know, we're all gutted in there that, that we haven't been able to pull the game around. Yeah, particularly against, you know, an opposition that in a similar position to us like the stop ball game, that's fine margins and hopefully, you know, next time we're on the right side of that. Yeah, we've got to, we can't keep making excuses. We can't keep saying, oh, we was, it was a close game and, we, you know, we, we've got to come out on top in these games. We did in the Halifax game earlier in the season. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we know what we need to do. It's, it's tough. You look at the top 10 teams in the league and it's they're brutally good. And um, we've got to make sure, and I've said all along, that we pick ourselves up from this. We bounce back like we have the majority of the time before. And, you know, come that last 8-10 games, we're in with a shout because that's got to be our remit.